What is up my Rich Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and it's beta. So yesterday the beta for the second week started and I have to say I have been having an absolute blast. I have been live streaming it on my Twitch channel where I live stream for I think it was about six and a half hours. And if you actually want to watch it link to that will be down in the description below and once you're there if you have your Battle.net account linked to your Twitch account and that is the one that you play COD on, you can actually get a beta code from my channel via drops. All you have to do is be active in the chat and be there for at least four hours. Now we got two new game modes, Fireteam Dirty Bomb which is extremely new, it's the first iteration of this game mode and of course we got Hardpoint. Now today also double XP and double weapon XP is going to be live as well on the beta. Now we all knew sliding was going to get a nerf which it did and I just kind of want to talk about Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Fireteam Dirty Bomb has two different maps Alpine and Rucka. Both of these maps are in the game files and have the maps named and they also have WZ at the end just like the Modern Warfare Ground War maps do as well. Now we knew we were getting some Russian team locations in Warzone for Black Ops Cold Wars, basically the Warzone for it. And this all but confirms uh, Warzone will be coming, which we already knew. Now in Fireteam Dirty Bomb you actually drop in from the sky like you do in Warzone and the whole objective to this game mode is to kill people and collect little deposits of uranium and once the bomb is filled with uranium then you can plant a bomb and lots of people have said this game mode is very very fun and i'm going to try it out today hopefully and armor of course is back in this game mode as well and you can have up to three plates on you for protection and then you have five plates as a reserve. Now you can also have armors, armor satchels. However, these don't give you your typical or what we've been known as typical because of Modern Warfare's Warzone as eight in reserve. They actually give you 10. And you can also get a self revive in crates that you can loot. There are also vehicles in this game mode as well. There's tanks, which is extremely, extremely overpowered. There's helicopters, just like the uh, streak in the multiplayer side of it. A lot of people have been saying to take these out of the game or even nerf them, which seems like something they will have to do. Now, does this mean that we'll be getting tanks and attack helicopters in Warzone? As of now, I kind of hope not, and I would say personally no. Uh, this would make them, like if they were, they'd be really, really overpowered. And I think it's fine having the likes of jet skis, uh, quad bikes, tanks, and cars, just like we saw in Warzone, the first iteration in Modern Warfare, except for jet skis, we didn't see jet skis. But have all of the stuff that you, we basically had, all the models for vehicles in modern warfare war zone and just convert them over to black ops cold wars war zone which would be a good thing because getting a tank in this in black ops cold wars uh war zone like that would just be the equivalent of getting a juggernaut in war zone and winning the game like it takes zero skill it's just it's horrible but this is just a really quick video uh i'd say about around three hours after this is up i hope to be live on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below and yeah if you did like this video guys please hit the like button right beside the like button is a subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my youtube channel beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my twitch channel which is rare speaking of live streams like i said I have a live stream that I stream to every week 
that's on my Twitch channel, link down in the description below. Once you're there, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live over there. I also have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, as it guys, hope you like, favorite, and subscribe, and peace.